What I'd like to demonstrate here is a way that we can qualitatively view differences and similarities between a couple of different layers. So what I have displayed here is the Landsat grid which shows information based on the vegetation density that we have previously extracted after calculation from using worldview data in ecognition and tree crown identification. So as you can see in the table of contents, we've got a variation of anywhere between 0 and 100% and areas where there's a higher vegetation density in each of those 30 by 30 metre squares is a darker colour and areas where there's, there's less vegetation is a lighter colour. Now what I'd like to do is to compare this with a couple of different layers that we have already in the table of contents. The first layer that I'll, that I'll use is the, is the initial Landsat image. So if I tick this on, you see that it is very coarse. So if I have a look, this is the zoomed in level of the Landsat data and it's actually quite difficult to really imagine what, you, what you're seeing in that image there. Like, aside from the fact that we're seeing that perhaps through this area where it's where it's a little bit darker is denser vegetation. This this area here where where we see a few white pixels, we're looking at probably areas where there's less vegetation. Now, if I click on the the Landsat grid again, what I can do is essentially as I've overlaid the two of these, I can swipe one image over the top of the other and look at differences. Now if I right click anywhere in the toolbar area and go to effects, that brings up the effects toolbar. The important thing with the effects toolbar is that it tells us which layer it is going to apply the effect to. So it says layer and at the moment it says tree crowns. What I want to do is to apply the effect to the Landsat grid. So if I click on that there, we will see that the pull down has now changed to Landsat grid. Okay, now the, the other important thing to remember with using effects is that it, it works basically on the uppermost layer that's visible. So I'm applying this particular effect that I'll show in a minute to the Landsat grid and as you can see in the table of contents, the Landsat grid is sitting on top of the Darwin image, the Landsat image that's, that's below it there. Okay, so now if I, if I extend the toolbar here, um, what I'm going to do is use this swipe tool. And if I click on that, you'll see that my cursor has now changed to a little black um, arrow or triangle. Now I can click and hold, and as I drag, that basically swipes the layer to which the effect is being applied over the layer below it. So I'm, I'm pulling that backwards and forwards, just like it's a blind or a curtain, and I could do the same for up and down. So what we're doing here is we're just trying to understand a little bit about how the vegetation density that's shown in that vector layer on top in the Landsat grid actually correlates to what we're seeing in the image below. What I can also do is if I turn that Landsat image off and look instead at the NDVI image from which we've, um, we've derived from that original Landsat image. And with the NDVI, remembering that what we want to see is where the vegetation is denser, we'll see bright pixels. And again, I'm still applying that effect to the Landsat grid, and we can swipe that there. And so if we're looking at that NDVI image, remembering that those white pixels are high vegetation density and the dark pixels are low vegetation. So we're looking for similarities and differences in that there. Now what's often a little bit more instructive is to actually use higher resolution data to view that, these patterns as well. So I've also got the Worldview 2 data that I've put in below there. And now if we swipe our vegetation density that has been, that has been calculated from using this Worldview 2 data, we can start to see those patterns a little bit better. Okay, so we're seeing how, that, how, how the pixels line up there. And of course the Landsat grid is a lot coarser than the than the underlying Worldview 2 data. But again, we're looking for similarities and differences there. So what I could also do is to look at, at the correspondence between the Worldview 2 data and the Landsat image, for example. So if I turn off the Landsat grid and I turn on the, the Worldview 2 data and the Landsat image, and this time I need to change the effect that I'm applying the layer to. So change the layer that I'm applying the effect to. So I'll change this now to the Worldview 2 data. So this time I'm going to swipe the Worldview 2 data over the top of the Landsat data. 
and you can see how those patterns in vegetation line up there as I swipe the image either up and down or left and right and you can see the differences and similarities there.